Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy IX. I'm Base 6286, and we're exploring the mountain path, so let's go this way. There's a ladder. Hmm. There should be some more... Is this the way I want to go? I'm not sure. I don't think it is. Yep, I am going the right way. Good for me. All right. Ooh. What's that? Epic sweeping of the camera. Ooh, that's a fancy tree. Is it Yggdrasil? No. I don't think so. Is that the sanctuary? Hmm. Maybe. They didn't really specify what the sanctuary was, so I guess that could be it. Oh, what the heck was that? Is this an adamantois? Oh no, we're all gonna die! What the? It's boss time! But what could it be? What is our scary adversary this time? Oh, it's a giant ogre. Let's shove a wand up its nose. Unfortunately, we don't have any... Oh, well, I guess we do have Vivi's staff. All right, Vivi, I'm going to chuck you up there, and you're just going to stick that wand up there. That's that's the plan. No, no. All right, this is Hill... Hill... Uh, what the heck? Hill Gigars. Weird name. I don't know. Anyways, I, this guy is uh, big and green, and he can cast our own spells. So, what we want to do is we want to get some float up on our butts, and apparently Ico doesn't have it. So, we're going to be using Dagger. Where is it? There we go. Yeah, uh, by getting up float, we'll be able to uh, nullify his earth attack, which is earthquake. Very painful. I Even um, if you're not worried about stealing from this guy, I highly recommend using float. It'll save you a lot of pain. Um, and uh, as a side note, the main reason I've been trying to get slow on most of these uh, bosses, it really isn't necessary at all, but um, it really it kind of helps uh, keep damage under control when you're trying to steal from bosses like I have been, so there's that. This guy has three things to steal, as usual. Um, we've gotten two already, Phoenix Down and the Mithril Fork. He also has a um, Fairy Flute, I believe it is. Unfortunately, it's one of those things that's ab abnormally hard to try and uh, get a hold of. So, um, yeah, the chances of me actually succeeding in this, not too high. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Because, um, I don't know, I'm pretty sure we can pick one up pretty pretty soon. After uh, we fight this boss anyways, but we'll see what I can do. I might, I might try a little bit here to get it, but if it takes too long probably won't even bother. As you can see, this guy can knock you down. Or, does that? Oh. I thought it actually knocked off Float from you, but I guess that was just a coincidence with uh, Aiko there. Or Eco or Aiko. I don't know. Uh, let's have her heal. And... Uh, yeah, so far, nothing too crazy. This guy hasn't cast Earthquake yet. I'm a little surprised. Maybe it's because everyone has Float on, and he's just kind of avoiding it. Keep focusing with BB. I doubt we'll be able to one-shot him. This guy, he's got 8,000 HP. Uh, he also likes to use. Oh, okay, time to recast flute. Flute. No, I didn't want a single target. That could be bad. Let's uh, use a potion on ourselves. Ow. Keep stealing, Simon. Just keep stealing. Just keep stealing. Love the. Oh, what a waste, Dagger. What a waste. I bet he's going to use Earthquake now, when I'm all vulnerable. We'll see. Um, yeah, I, um, what was I even saying? I think I was something, saying something about him healing himself, which he can do. He likes to cast uh, Kiraga. Oh, uh, here we go. Like I said, Dagger's going to be the only one to survive this one. By survive, I mean just not take damage. I think everyone else should survive. Yeah. Eh, not too bad. We can just get a Kira up here and we'll be fine. Well, there's Earthquake for you. That's what it looks like and what it does. Not too much of a threat, but you know. 
better to have float on you. I'm pretty sure he casts it a lot more often if you don't have float, which, yeah, that's just huge pain. All that constant uh, group damage can be really, uh, is, well, it'll start to add up a lot, so. And, of course, we're not having much luck getting this uh, fairy flute here. We'll see. I don't even know how many attempts I've had. Maybe I'll I'll try a few more, and if nothing happens, then I'll uh, give up. Or I might just uh, cut out me trying to get it from him and uh, go from there. I don't know yet. Uh, steel. Let's get float back up. I wonder why Zidane's float keeps asking, uh, lasting longer than anyone else's. Weird. Uh, let's here. Yeah. Ooh, Zidane's really low. Maybe we'll have Dagger use a potion on him. Ha! Nice try. Denied! <sighs> Alright guys, I, I think that's a sign that we need, to, we need to stop futzing around with this guy since Zayden just got killed. Oh well, that was partially my own fault. Alright, to take this guy down, I usually just use bio spells. That seems to work the best. Um, I don't believe he has any specific weaknesses, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna stick with that. After all that focusing we did, it should do a healthy chunk of damage. We'll see. I really don't think it'll be able to knock off 8,000 HP, but... We'll see what we can do. Yeah, only 3,000. That's not that great. Alright, let's do this. Maybe we'll do some summoning with Dagger, too. We haven't done too much of that. And come on, Iko, cure, cure. No, I don't think he's going for Zidane. Good. That could be bad. Uh, let's do another bio. We've already gotten a good chunk of his HP out. Uh, yeah, all we have is Rama, unfortunately. We'll just summon him. He'll do. Everyone's HP is back up. I wound up using uh, an Ether on Dagger, too. She was getting kind of low on MP. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. I spent like maybe three minutes trying to steal from him. Didn't really work, so. Can I silence this guy? Not with Ico, I can't. What about BB? We've got a Demi spell. Yeah, no silence for BB either. It's probably Dagger that has it. Oh well, let's do another bio. That actually didn't do too much damage, that judgment hold. Which is lame. Oh man. Now Vivi's running low on MP2. Uh, ooh, we could do this. We could summon Fenrir with uh, Ico there. We haven't seen her summons yet. Or he could die. Okay. Yeah, we didn't get the Fairy Flute, but I'm not too worried about that. Like I said, it's a huge pain in the butt to actually steal. It's just one of those notorious things. Ooh, we got a decent chunk of uh, AP there. Ico probably learned uh, most, of, if not all, of her abilities, so that'll be good. We can get some better equipment on her. That big monster just shows up from time to time. I usually just run away. But you're a pretty good fighter, Eko. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, that's not the way to, to my house. That's the way to the Aoife tree. This way to my place. I was only looking at the mountains. The Aoife tree? I thought it was called Sanctuary. Sanctuary! Oh, I just had to do it one more time. Huh? Oh, that's what the dwarves call it. Everyone else calls it the Aoife tree. The Aoife tree? Let's go. Hmm. Oh well. We're not gonna go just yet. We have some more things we can collect. Like a Yellowstone. Yellowstone Park? Nope, just a Yellowstone. Uh, this is not the right path. Although I think there's still something we can collect here. Or not. <sighs> Shoot. I did not want to head out to the world map. Go back! Reverse! Reverse! Probably gonna spend the rest of this episode trying to find this last stupid stone. Do I even need one more? Let's check. Items, key items, let's see. We've got blue, yellow, red. Yeah, there's still one more we need. There should be four stones. Uh, let me check. Yeah, we need a green stone still. And it's gonna be in another one of those uh, statue things. And I have a stomach ache. 
which is probably because I had like zero dinner. By zero, I mean the best dinner ever. It consisted of, let's see, two bags of chips. Yep, that's it. That was my entire dinner. So what happens when you have freaking six hours of rehearsal and no time to eat in between? Oh well. Let's head back now that we found that green stone. I checked another uh, guide again to make sure I was going in the right direction. And yeah, I didn't want to spend too long just like wandering around this place. Not knowing where I'm going. Nearing. I think those gnolls are going to win an award for most found enemy in this freaking place. Jeez. Alright. I think... If we go back around this way... We'll get into a battle. Oh well, at least Vivi can one-shot them with a bio spell. That makes things easier on me. Alright, now that... This thing looks weird. Anyways, this is what we want to head to. If we uh, put in all these stones that we found along the way in these various statues... Hmm? Something came out from the back. <laughs> it So it crapped a moonstone. That's fantastic. Anyways, <laughs> a moonstone is really rare, as you might expect. Unfortunately, we won't be able to evolve any of our characters with it. That's a different game. Anyways, uh, I think if we equip it... Um, yeah, we can learn some stuff from it. Smash. Uh, like Shell. And Beast Killer, apparently. I don't know where that came from. Why do we get Beast Killer from a Moonstone? That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, well. It is what it is, I guess. Um, yeah, let's at least make it out of here. Alright, so now that we got that, we can basically just uh, head out the way uh, where we just were. So we have to go back across this long route, or s giant bridge made of roots, I guess. And we want to go to the right. Because if you remember, uh, Aiko was saying if we went to the left, we'd head to the uh, Aoife tree, which we don't want to do. So let's take this giant route here, and we should pass by uh, that area, but also take us out to the world map, a different area of the world map at least. Which is where we want to go. And here we are on the other side of a giant route connecting an island. And that's where we want to go. But we're not going to do that in this episode. I think I'm going to actually end it off here. So, thanks you guys for watching. And join me in the next episode where we'll uh, head over to uh, another unexplored village. See you then.